while also enabling yourself to play a bit more pick with the death sentence. The Yumu's was completed, so Meteor is hightailing it down here. Are they going to be able to buy enough time? Envy is the target. The Moonlight Vigil connects, and the kill actually goes over to Pei Chuan, as now the clone actually taking up oh, a decent amount of damage there. You get a lot of shots down, and Haichao's coming through. He is the Graves, but he's not, because he got the Pop Blossom in Yukal. He flashes away, oh. but there's that collateral damage. You always got to be careful. The dive took so long that LGD are able to respond. The good thing for TT is at least you're denying minions off of Envy and building that goal lead for Huan Fong, and no one's there in mid to push and deny Yukal anything. So it's a one for one. is isn't too bad for the side of LGD, but it does seem like a slight trade, a slight trade up for TT, especially since Yukal has TP. You can see Envy's going to go and try and push in that mid wave now, but Yukal will manage to get there in time to, to not lose it on anything, even if he potentially could. Yeah, the thing that gets uh, worrying now, though, is that Meteor is just going to be oh. on a train of... Oh, I was going to say a train of farm, but that is a lot of damage there, Mr. Envy. You just lost your cleanse for absolutely free. You even saw him TPing in. Yeah. We'll go to the replay on bot side. Hook comes out onto the Braum. I love that Baytron's like, yo, I'm just going to flash past and ignore this guy. Looks like Moonlight Vigil not even connecting onto Envy, but having enough damage between the mid and jungle. But it was that flank from Haichao to lock down Yukal in collateral damage range so far allows him to finish it off. And you pointed out, right? He'd already finished Ghost Blade by that point. So we've been hitting incredibly hard uh, at this point in the game. And he's going to continue hitting hard at this point. Uh, we do have this dragon fight though coming up. LGD already have one dragon under their belt. It actually looks like TT want to contest. Yeah, TT need to be careful. They are missing some key summoners on Bei Chuan and Yukao. Both AD carries do have flashes up, so they should be relatively safe, but mid laners can definitely be vulnerable. Fearness maybe doesn't want to get caught out here. He's not that tanky right now, and it's a lot of damage from Huan Fong. One kill goes over, and this dragon should be TT's. We'll see if Pop Blossom is enough to save Hai Chao. He'll be up here all by his lonesome. Here come Yu Yanja and Bei Chuan. Help out Yu Kao. He didn't connect that charm, but here comes the Pop Blossom. Locks them down. He could get Bei Chuan here. Mega Death Rocket goes across, but no one will fall. And it's a beautiful trade under the tower. At least not trade. A gank under the tower for TT. Talking about. Uh, speaking oh, of fighting with you your bare can. hands, there's some bare knuckle boxing in the top lane. Hai Chao with the Pop Blossom to his death. Yu Yanja will pick up the kill. He's still trying time. to get even deeper. I don't know if he can make it around. That would be a little bit too much damage, I feel like, coming out from the tower there. The hook actually connects onto Jin Zhao, not the person he wants to. They're trying to access the back line now. Shock rooms are starting to stack up for Wan Fong, though. And that could actually be super huge. Death sentence doesn't go through. Boy is in the back line. Pop Blossom oh. on a four, but it was one of the clones. And now we got to see the follow up afterwards. Yonja connects. Huan Fong dealing some work. Hoya goes down to zombie mode. But Envy will survive in the end. TT, they're still in this boxing match. They'll actually connect on the meteor. He flashes away. And that means pounce time for LGD. They find you, Yonja out. Meteor picks up the kill. Oh, oh Bei Chuan, he angle. goes in, he can't find it, but he does flash forward, picks up the kill. Huan Fung is big right now, you gotta watch out, Moonlight Vigil connects, and one goes through another, and TT are firing on all cylinders! And everything looks so good for LGD, but Bei Chuan, the patience, finding the angle, having the confidence to go back in, knowing they have the damage. Are they really gonna turn towards the Baron? Burger oh, they are, I guess, so. oh! With Hoya's TP flip. up, I, I, it makes sense. It's not a flip. And now, yeah, now LGD making their way over towards the dragon. I mean, TT gonna be so happy with this end of the trade. And all of it coming from, uh, again, just a bit unfortunate for Envy having to walk right into Baytron yeah. after you'd already won the initial fight. The flanks a, keep coming. <laughs> I think a lot of this fight came down to the setup. LGD, great job by not giving in. Had they gone deeper into River and not kept threatening the Baron, yeah. Patron would have had a great angle for a flank. But since yeah. he didn't, Hoya goes down. Hai Chao finds a really great ultimate, which stops them from being able to reinforce Hoya. And this is what you wanted from LGD. Yeah. Again, play off your disengage. Play off the range that you have. But it's here. Look at the minimap. Patron wraps all the way around from Tribrush. And LGD just don't expect this. They feel yeah. like they won the fight. They got two kills. And bam. And They're they scared started. of Wan Fong as well. I, I, I know maybe ADC bias here, but Wan Fong played that fight so well. There's so much 
that was available to try to take us that spirit rush available. We'll burn it. Gets away in the end. MV also now picking up his Lord Dom. So when we're going to go into a, a war of attrition, oh, he, he will stayed. be much better. He stayed. Uh, let's see, he's got Zanya's baby body. Nope. Okay. Well, just been chunked out for free there off of off of a, a TP reset. That would have been that would have been like a huge, oh, a huge Beichuan. small win. Beichuan has found oh, the yeah. flank. He oh. found it. Moonlight Vigil goes through, but it's wide. You got Fearness who TP'd way back. The Pop Blossom connects. This is a knockout drag out fight. It's LGD's only hope. They can't get excited though. They can't get one kill. It's Hachao who's down and now Yukal going forward. He's got that Spirit Rush and Spirit oh, to him. He got a lot of damage from Meteor from Fearness. They've got the tankiness to survive and while the rest of tt got out positioned on the other side of the fight they actually took it apart i'm actually interested to see the replay and see what like took you what pinned you cal down to where he couldn't just jump in when baechuan found that flank Ooh, is oh is they no <laughs> Boy, I gotta try to get away from this one. That is a six and O oh Graves though, with the full lethality build, and he's gonna find another kill here, no doubt. One more shot to the back. I feel like the setup was there for TT, but ideally off of this flank, you want to see Yukal matching up to get on top of Envy. He goes in, kind of forced back by the threat of High Chap. Oh. And then, yeah, that just takes him a little bit longer because he's trying to peel for his own AD carry against his Nico. But look, it, that means Envy survives for so long and gets off a huge ton of DPS before he eventually goes down yeah. in the end. And I feel like that's really what gave the opening for LGD to take this fight was the, the fear of the Nico on the back line and, and Yukal trying yeah. to peel for his own AD carry as well. And Fearness, his flank, at, like, I was yeah. like, man, that's so far away. But it actually was so huge. This man is on a mission, and it is to kill TT. Uh, they will be flipping a Baron, though, because, of course, why not? And Beituan will have to find the Miracle Steel. We'll see if he can do it. He's on the back pit. They know that he's there. They've got to try to deny him. He can get over the pit, though. 3,000 hovering. LGD don't want to let it go. 2,000 down. Beituan, he doesn't get it. He needs to try to get out now. He's stuck in the pit. There ain't nothing to call home to. NV picks up a kill for LGD. No, again, I just don't know how they force into this now. Now that LGD can play on the front foot, they are getting... Quite heavily chunked, though. Oh, for free. Fearness getting caught out is a good way to start. They do get the frontliner down. Juan Fung picks up the kill. Now Yukal feeling a little bit of gumption. Hoya goes in as with as well with his unstoppable onslaught. There is the charm that connects, and they just burn down Jin Zhao. There is a trade back as Meteor will make Beituan bite the dust. Yukal still has a couple charges. The Spirit Rush wants to look for Envy. Connects oh. the cleanse, but he got damage back. There's tight, tight moments, a lot of stress. And Yukal will dodge out of that super mega death rocket. That was stressful to watch on both sides. Oh my god. LGD at first. Kind of giving over free kills. Like, hooks coming out, free damage being dished out. But the other members of LGD not, like, in position to reciprocate the damage. Means it's just pure benefit for TT. But then Envy, with, with some nice fancy footwork to at least make sure some return damage kills go back over for LGD. All right, the Huanfang Gundam is online. Full build for the Aphelios. We're at Dragon Soul Point for TT. They do not want to give this away, but it looks like they're going to have to. Unless an Infernum dead enough, but Meteor secures it. That'll be Soul Point now for them. And he still does oh, so much damage. And Fearness has found the backline. Pop blocks up, and Pop goes your life. You got Fearness popping him back, though. Hoya goes down two kills for Meteor. Fearness and High Chow setting it up for Meteor to just dunk them down. This they man have is a wave 10 and mid. I mean, they're just going to go for the end here, and they should be able to find it. What do you do when a Meteor Graves comes to you? You die, that's what, as he is doing work here. We said at the beginning, it's going to come down to what these jungles can facilitate, what they can find. And Meteor has took a strong step forward in game one of this series as LGD seemingly pulled this game back from the brink. And now it just feels like nothing could stop him. Huan Fong doing some work. That six oh, items. That moon like, gosh, it's so close. The feels for TT there, but LGD make it out alive. Is that something stopped them? Something stopped them. It was the wave. <laughs> and now just the posturing in mid. No bearing up. No dragging this is where you up. Need <laughs> mm -hmm. the, the, We're not the, fighting oh. over any camps. Oh, oh, yep. Oh, there's another ward base one. I'm sorry. 
We'll see if they okay. can actually find this uh, this one that knockback comes through on the Hoya. And, TC uh, just now... really are trying to find this, but they just can't. You're seeing it. Yeah. Especially every time the rapid fire proc comes up. And be able to dish out some solid oh, damage. High yeah. too? That's going to be a lot of damage on the Hoya. He's got to be careful. There's that unstoppable onslaught used. Beituan, again, caught out by a ward. LGD. They're looking to flippy flip. And remember, Meteor is huge right now. He's just they taking just burn this one down too fast. so fast. Beituan not even focusing on the Baron at this point. He just wants to find the flank. He wants to find the back line. There goes the Baron. You got to see, can they get Envy? He makes it out. Pop Blossom across the back. A huge moment changer as a visceration comes to TT's House of Living. And Mega Death Rocket comes through, but it's a little bit of distance making for Envy, who now also takes down UCAL. An obliteration of TT. Oh, he gets another one. That's a double kill for Envy. Yeah, TP back to the minions as well. I guess trying to cut off Hoya's escape path and just help get those minions pushing even sooner. They've done it again. Holy they look cow. so shaky in their first series. But nice bounce back, especially with the team fighting coming out from LGD. My goodness, what a game. They will end it at least before the longest game of the split so far that they also hold. But man, they made GT work for this one and they actually brought it back at the end. Huge stuff, the composition aligned. It just felt like once they got rolling, you said it well, this composition, if they are ahead, it's so oppressive and it ended up being just that.